Hello everybody and a happy St. Patrick's Day! Today we are going to learn how to paint beautiful realistic raindrops. It's very easy and it's a lot of fun and you can use it for every paint you want. So for the materials you need it's very easy, just a surface to paint or a painting that you don't like and we'll go back to that later on. Just a pencil and some colors. The first thing to do is to draw a raindrop shape and this can be a regular circle type of shape or an oblong shape. Just be creative. Remember to understand where the light comes from. Also remember that the raindrop seen from a side is like a little dome with the light from a side and casting a little shadow on the other. So with this in mind, let's get into the colors that you need. You need just three colors. White, which is universal for your raindrop. A base color, which can vary from your painting. And uh, another accent color that you may use on your painting. So the first thing to do is to draw the circle and to paint the circle with the darker color that you have. I'm using a very fine brush and this requires a little bit of a precision if you want your raindrops to be quite realistic. We remember where the light comes from, so we start painting the shadow that the raindrop casts. It's a very simple technique, but again, be mindful of the surface you're painting in and uh, what colors you're using. Second stage is to go into the raindrop and paint that little dome. So we will paint an arch that is opposite to the circumference of the raindrop. It's very difficult to explain, but very easy when you see it. Try to blend a little bit the color with uh, the background. The next step will be to paint with the white paint the negative side, so where the light shines, and blend it again within the raindrop itself. With pure white, I like to do a couple of uh, light accents, and that can vary from your painting with the reflection that you want to achieve on your raindrop. With the next accent color, I just like to refine the raindrop to give it a little bit of more depth. As we said, you can choose a regular shape, a circle shape, but as well a random shape, like I'm doing here, an oblong raindrop. And this will follow the same rules of lights and shadows. So let's see here, we paint the border of the drop first with your main color. And this color, we said, can vary from the background that you want to recreate. I'm using blue here, but if you want to create a, I don't know, a green background, you will use a dark green, much darker than your background. And this technique can be used very well to retouch painting that you don't like. I'm later on retouching a painting of uh, a pint glass of beer that I don't quite like. It looks like it's uh, floating there in the middle of the nowhere. So creating a series of raindrops on the top is a nice idea to repurpose paintings and to give them some more interest. So I went in with my white, with my blues, give the white accent and refine the drop with the next accent colors. So let's see here, this is the paint I was talking about. It's a very plain painting. I like very much the glass itself and the reflection, but I don't really like the setting of the subject, for example. So I decided to see this painting as 
it was behind a glass and this glass is full of droplets of rain so as we just seen i'm drawing the circles first and i'm deciding more or less where the drops goes between the main subject and the background right on the background this is completely random and as well the shapes are completely random because we know there are not two raindrops that look the same so be creative and try and experiment as we've just seen i will trace the border of my drops the margins call it as you wish and uh, i'm using a much darker color than the background but as it is a transparent surface i like to keep it on the same tones so for example i've used a cerulean blue for the background and i'm using an ultramarine blue for the raindrop if you use for example a may green or a very light green I recommend you to use a sub green for the raindrops. If you are using a light red or an orange, just use a cadmium red deep or a much deeper color. When I'm finished with the border, I will draw the shadow, remembering that the light is consistent and comes from the same point every time. So this is a very 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 fun technique and i really warmly recommend you to try because you will be amazed by the results they look so real you almost can touch them and again i really hope you liked this video and if you did please consider to subscribe to my channel you can find this painting for sale on my Etsy shop and the links is, uh, are in the description below. And I'll see you very soon and once again, happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye bye!